and we're back with uh, Chelsea City manager Robbie Simpson and uh, it was uh, a bit of a long debrief after that one Robbie, what was being said in the, in yeah. the change room as a whole there? Um, it, it was one of those moments where I asked the players to speak um, really um, so that's why it was probably a longer speech than <laughs> um, quite a few people spoke and I think we just needed uh, we needed to have that, really. Yeah. We needed to have a chat amongst ourselves. Um, it was, in, in terms of the game, I think overall it was a fairly even game, but I think there's a reason, or reasons why we lost. Um, I feel like they deserved the win, but also if it was a draw, I think some people would have come away and said, yeah, and, and said, yeah fair, fair result. Um, we went at our best. Um, Mentally, really, M mentally, we were just slow of thought, um, not quick to the loose balls, not quick to get in position. We were just a bit slow mentally all over the pitch. We we worked hard, and yeah. especially with ten men after the goal went in, I thought the goal was sloppy from us. We're we're hoping that Addy makes a good header rather than expecting that he won't. And um, I've just said there, it, it, it was an even game. They're a good team. I believe we're a better team than them, but there's the reason why they won and we didn't today for me was that um, they worked hard to make their teammates' jobs easier. Yep. And we hoped someone would do something good to make our job easier. And, and for me, that was the difference today. That was the reason why we lost. Because there wasn't much in the game, but for me, that's the reason why we lost. And of, uh, and of course, sending offs make a big difference in games. They're the biggest prerequisite to losing games. Um, yeah. if, if you have 10 men, you're more likely to lose a game. And, and naively from us, but again, I put that down to mental. I, I put the sending off down to a mental incapacity to, to know the situation, um, to be in the right place at the right time. And then you don't have to make that foul. And um, yeah, it's cost us. Yeah, we were a bit um, stuck um, with options in midfield. We've got four centre midfielders out. We've got Church, Harrison, Crook and Isaac all out today. Yeah, um, Church uh, Church got injured on Monday. Um, Billy's not quite ready to return yet, but he's close, hopefully. Yeah. And then um, Ches tested negative for COVID, but his girlfriend tested positive. So he has to self-isolate. And... Um, Callum, um, he got his results through this morning and it was positive, so he'll be out for a little while. That's the problem, isn't it? When we've got this uh, COVID around, it's just, it can happen to anyone, can't it? And yeah, but Mickey, you know, Cameron can play in there yeah. and, and, and Mickey did an okay job in there. I thought I thought he did quite well at times, actually. Um, and we've got a squad capable of winning games like that today. Um, and it certainly wasn't our midfield that, that, that cost us the game. It was um, it was a collective, really. I think collectively over the pitch, we were we were just not bright and um, and the sending off. Yeah, it was the same referee we had at Dartford, and we had uh, five yellows today for, from him and six at Dartford. So yeah. and uh, and three for Hampton. So it was yeah. I didn't think it wasn't there wasn't really a bad tackle in the game. It was eight yellow cards. Yeah. Well, he he actually um, pulled me before the game and apologised about his performance at Dartford. <laughs> Um, and particularly the, the sending off that wasn't um, after 30 seconds on Elliot, Elliot Ward. Elliot Romain. From Elliot Romain, yeah, he, he apologised and said he made made a bad decision and I actually thought he might have given us some things today but, <laughs> to make up for it, but he, he didn't. I thought very, very soft fouls get given with that referee um, all afternoon. I thought he started the game really poorly, then got better and then finished the game really poorly. I thought, um, fair play to Hampton, they managed the game. Um, but once they went 1-0 up with a man over, they yeah. managed the game um, and bought, bought fouls off, off the officials to, to slow the game down when we were trying to obviously get an equaliser. And we almost did. That's what I'm, I'm so proud of the boys. After we, after we went 1-0 down with 10 men, it's so easy to then capitulate. Um, but we didn't, and, and I was really proud of them after that moment. Um, and I hope we can grab onto that and, and keep that rather than, um, obviously we've got to learn from, from what went on today. Um, and that's the reason why I asked them to speak, because if it's always one voice, then it's, it kind of 
goes into a blur. <laughs> so I'm glad I got them to speak and um, we, we need to learn from, from today, but I hope we can keep hold of that, um, um, what we had when we went 1-0 down with 10 men. And uh, there's a, I think most other teams have got a midweek game, but we've got our bye because of the odd number of teams in our league. So um, a chance maybe to get one or two players back fit for next Saturday and a bit of a rest off the three games in one week. Yeah, let's hope so. Um, obviously, we won't have Callum back, and I need to just clarify with with Chez when his isolation finishes. Yeah. Um, hopefully, we'll have him back, um, but I, I I'm not sure. I think it's touch and go. It yeah. might, might be Friday, might be Saturday. It's last day, so we'll see on that one. Yeah. And uh, thanks very much, Robbie. Um, good luck uh, next Saturday. We've got another home game against Chippenham, so we'll be back streaming that one here on uh, Clarets.tv. Uh, but thanks to Robbie for his. Uh, Honestly, in post-match interview, and we'll just be back in a couple of seconds to sign off. Thanks, Ben. Bye.